NASA is discouraging people from watching tomorrow's launch in person because of the pandemic, but big crowds are still expected to witness that historic moment in person. However, the pandemic is limiting where you can and cannot go to watch. New 6 investigator Mike DeForest is looking into those restrictions. He joins us live now from Brevard County with what he's learned. Mike. Well, Ginger, if you were here back in the space shuttle days and you had a favorite launch viewing area, perhaps here out on the Indian River, maybe one of the beaches or a waterside park, chances are it will be open tomorrow, but steps are being taken to prevent people from crowding too close together. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. <laughs> Drew Talent is ready for tomorrow's big countdown. Despite coronavirus concerns, his family traveled here from Atlanta to witness history. It's a big time for our nation and being able to see this and have him go into middle school, high school, learning about it and have him be able to say he was there and saw it. It's going to be uh, something cool that we'll always be able to remember. Today, the family scoped out a spot along the Max Brewer Bridge in Titusville. Authorities say most of the usual rocket viewing areas throughout the Space Coast will be open, but there could be parking limitations. For example, Jetty Park is only open to annual pass holders and will close once it reaches 50% vehicle capacity. We saw workers clearing away brush along US-1 in Titusville so spectators can get a good view across the Indian River Lagoon. Nearby, business owners are already selling parking spaces. We're from Scottsboro, Alabama, my wife and two grandkids, and uh, uh, out here to see the launch tomorrow afternoon. Hopefully it'll be tomorrow afternoon. After the launch, Titusville police will be routing traffic north on Washington Avenue and west on either Garden Street or Cheney Highway, State Road 50. Now authorities are urging anyone who is sick or in one of those high risk groups to just watch this launch either from home or your yard if you're lucky enough to be able to see a launch from there. Now, if tomorrow's launch is scrubbed for whatever reason, it will be rescheduled for Saturday. If that happens, one law enforcement official tells me they expect much bigger crowds out here. Ginger. Mike DeForest reporting live. Thank you. And you can learn all about tomorrow's launch and the astronauts who will be on board. Just head to clickorlando.com slash space. There you can also find all of our coverage of NASA, SpaceX, and our future plans for space exploration.